Hello everyone, as Root has been discontinued a long time ago. I will show you today the most updated and powerful alternative. The extension is called Reactor but needs a lot of tweaking before being functional. For example, let's look for some images of Dwayne Johnson on Google. Save the image and return to the weburi. And just with a few clicks, you just give him some hair. Please let me know which SDXL model I should cover next. I will make an overview and a notebook. Let's get started. But first let's check some common errors. If you encounter this error, don't worry. SageMaker is a bit sensitive with some browser. You can change the settings, clear cookie or change browser. Also if you struggle to get a GPU one time, be patient and keep spamming the button, as it remains free service, the server gets busy during high traffic hours. But once you're in, you keep the runtime. You must check that the conda folder is at 1.1 gigabytes before continuing. Because if you don't, you might have errors like this, libg thread 2.0, or errors failed writing bodies, mostly because you hit the storage limit. First, open the link in the description. Here you just need to click on copy to project. And click on copy notebook only. Phase 1 is important if it's your first time launching the notebook. Or if you used the old notebook with Python 3.9. When you run the cell, an asterisk means the cell is running. When it shows a number, it means it's finished. Now, all the files should be cleaned. You must restart the Jupyter Lab by click on the top left corner. Click on Restart. And save the notebook. Once you restart, run the next cells. It should be written. Your conda is clean, 1.1 GB. Please continue to step 2. The step 2 will install all important files. First cell is installing the conda environment. Will update dependencies but will also install Python version 3.10, which is required to run Reactor. It should take a few minutes. Download the essentials for stable diffusion. And now you finally install all Reactor libraries needed. If it blocks, don't hesitate to run the cell a second time. Now, step three is important. Here you can select any models by removing the hashtag. You can download as many model as you want because it will be placed in the temporary folder. It should take around 20 seconds per models. You can also do the same for the control net models. I made a command to download them all at once. But remember, you have to relaunch the step 3 at every new runtime. You can check with this cell how much storage you have used. And even with all control net models and two checkpoints, you still have 22 GB available. Now, on to the final step. Don't forget to create your NGROC account and copy your token in step 4. After you run the cell, it will take around 4 minutes to install all the latest requirements. Don't worry if there is an IO pub message. It will continue to download normally. Please be patient, go grab a coffee. When you'll come back, you should see a NG Rock link. Simply click on the blue button visit site. And congratulations you are inside of Stable Diffusion. All the latest extensions are included, like Aditaylor, ControlNet, and also Reactor. Reactor is pretty straightforward. You just need to upload the image of the face you want, and run the Generate button. You can play with the settings below to indicate which gender. But Reactor Auto Detector is already pretty good at identifying. Now you can see, the face is swapped seamlessly with Hermione from Harry Potter. But to make it a little more fun, you could download an image of the rock. 
and give him some hairs. That would be the perfect tool to fool your friends. No need of Photoshop anymore. As many asked how to install LoRa. There are two ways to do it, the first method, with the Batch Links extension. Click on the Batch Links downloader. It allows you to download files from Mulipal platform, including Civitai, and to transfer the file directly in the right folder in Stable Diffusion. For example, go to Civitai and look for your desired LoRa. Make sure to copy the direct link from the blue button, paste inside the batch links downloader. And you can also add two hashtags. The name for organization. In that way, you can prepare a text file with all your LoRa. Copy paste in the extension and it will download automatically for you. It will show you a downloading bar progress. And there you go. All you LoRa are now usable directly in Automatic 11.11. Finally the step 5 is to download all your outputs. It is recommended to download your images at the end of each session. Even though, your outputs will be saved for a while. It can accumulate, and hit the storage limit. Which will cause errors. The script will compress the zip in multiple parts if the folder is bigger than 150 MB.